Hello, hello. So, um, I will show you in this tutorial how to paint bases for Blackstone Fortress. Um, for that, I want to use, of course, black from Valakum Model Color, white from Valakum Model Color. As you can see, I'm using this. I use these paints, uh, paints a lot, and light turquoise. Uh, it used to be my uh, most favorite uh, paint. Um, also, I will use uh, Tamar Black from P3. I don't know if I'm gonna use. Uh, yes, I will use uh, black from Valaco Model Color. So I mix uh, black with Hock Turquoise, uh, light turquoise. Hock Turquoise was my favorite favorite uh, paint from Games Workshop. I think it's not uh, being produced uh, anymore. So uh, let's uh, create uh, some lines. This will create uh, tiles uh, that uh, will look very good. Okay, <laughs> that was that had no sense. This sentence. Sorry for that. Mm. Sometimes I want to uh, sound like I'm very educated person, but I'm just stupid. Uh, I think that's all. I don't want to uh, create too many tiles because it won't look very good. Mm, maybe just small ones like this one and this one. Okay, so uh, let's use airbrush. Uh, uh, I want to use pure light turquoise but uh, very diluted and then I will use uh, Tamar Black from P3 Privateer Press Privateer Press sorry I think I should pronounce the uh, name like this okay so let's start painting and what I want to do, do I want to um, highlight just one side of the tile, uh, so second side will be black. Let me see if the compressor is okay. Compressor is. I turn it on. Turn it on. As you can see, I'm not using uh, masking tape uh, now because it's a waste of time for me.
Okay, and now let's uh, use Tamar Black from P3 formula. I just want to retouch uh, the color with, uh, with light turquoise. So um, now I will use uh, light turquoise with white. Maybe first the just light turquoise and retouch all, all of those lines. Okay, and now I want to add a white color. And create some highlights over the lines. Okay, and now I want to add uh, white spots. Okay, and now um, let's use some, uh, let's compare, I think it looks comparable. Uh, so now I want to use a gloss varnish from Vallejo and finish uh, the base. Of course I should use uh, airbrush, but uh, just for one base uh, I think I will not use it. Um, of course I need to paint uh, more bases, like seven of them. So uh, the uh, speed, uh, the time uh, needed for one base is very long, but if you can do it uh, in the bulk, uh, it will be much faster.
per each base. You know what I mean. If you do many on uh, on one time, at on one time, because of the airbrush, you don't need to prepare your airbrush every time. Okay, so as you can see, our base is finished. You can see brush strokes, but I will use uh, airbrush, and it will cover uh, very in one uh, even uh, layer. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. I will show you just how the base will look with the miniature. Very decent. So, thanks for watching and see you.